So Boston College will go bowling for the third time in four years on December 26th, facing former ACC member Maryland in the Quick Lane Bowl. Let's bring in the head eagle, Steve Adazio. Now, Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Your team needed to win its final two games of the season to become bowl eligible. How impressed were you by the resiliency they showed to get those wins? Well, I think the most impressive thing was the way the team came together. This is an uh, inexperienced group that uh, really started to formulate a bond. And uh, it was kind of a bond in the locker room that they weren't going to let each other down. They weren't going to, you know, they were going to find a way to win. And there was a real resolve, and that's called chemistry. And that chemistry really started to take a strong foothold. As, as the season went and as, and, 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 and as it became, you know, a harder year, their resolve got stronger. So I think that really is uh, maybe more important than any other indicators of where our team is headed. Well, we hear coaches mention every year how important those extra bowl practices are for a team in terms of prep for next season. How can those practices truly benefit your squad specifically next year? Well, when you look at the uh, spring ball and you have 15 practices, we're going to have 16 or 17 in bowl prep. So essentially you're having a second spring ball. So, I mean, that, it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty plain to see that. You know, instead of one spring ball, you get two spring balls, depending on how you handle it. I'm handling it like our first seven practice were flat like spring football. Young guys uh, tackling full go. I mean, it was it was it's been it's been wild, highly competitive. Some guys don't handle it that way. That's what we did because we want to develop our football team. And I want to see a lot of these guys play and, 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 and compete. And now we'll start to shift it to still having development, but shifting it more towards Maryland where tomorrow. We're in a real Maryland Tuesday practice. So it's been great and uh, really watching guys continue to develop, and that's been exciting. Well, Coach, you've built a program that's known for defense, best in the ACC for a time this season. How fun has it been to watch some of these defensive leaders, such as Matt Milano and Harold Landry, grow into the players that they've become? When BC is hitting on all cylinders, it's when we're older, and we've been forced to play uh, too many young players here as we've tried to rebuild our roster. Offensively, after the first two years, we took a huge hit, and we had to retool the whole thing. Well, on defense, we started with more plug-in young guys. Those young guys are older guys right now. And to watch their development, they're playing some of them playing their best ball. And uh, that'll start to be on the other side now as we move forward. They'll start to be in the position of playing their best ball. The ultimate goal is to get both sides, which means your roster is whole and evened out, where there's there's not you know uh, big voids. It's just a continuation, and you're playing guys that are third, fourth, and fifth year players. At BC, that's when you're hitting on all cylinders. And on offense, you brought in Scott Leffler as your new offensive coordinator this past off season. What kind of progression did you see from the offense from August until now? Well, I think you know. First of all, I watch him as he's a quarterback. He's a great fundamental quarterback teacher, and I'm seeing you know our, our young quarterbacks right now really really growing in leaps and bounds. And um, just the implementation of our throw game, where we see windows and peaks of where it's going to be. But as a you know, first year in that throw game, guys are still learning and, 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 and you know, maturing within that system. I think you'll see the rewards of, of what Scott has done all year will really start to pay more dividends you know, next season as we get a little bit more of a veteran team with a whole year in and more confidence and all the all the pieces in the right place then i think the investment that we put in this year will start to pay extreme dividends now you know we run the ball we've always run the ball here i mean i'm heavily involved in that run game and you know as we mature our offensive line and 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 and, and our backs we're going to be back to having the strong run game that we've always had but the maturation of our throw game i like where we're headed and i like the ability that we're going to have to be able to use that uh, as we move forward well, up next for your team is the Maryland Terrapins in the Quick Lane Bowl. What are your initial thoughts on this matchup? Well, I think it's a uh, matchup game. Two very closely matched teams. Maryland likes to run the football. We like to run the football. I think we play pretty good run defense. They do as well. I think these are both programs that are developing. And, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, there's been a, um, you know, there's been a connection with the programs. Obviously, when Maryland was in the ACC, now they're out. And uh, I think there's familiarity. Um, DJ and, and myself know each other quite well. We work together. I think there's some very shared, similar philosophies in there. And uh, I think it'll be a, a very competitive, hard-fought game. Well, Coach, thank you so much, and best of luck in your bowl game.
Thank you.